I'm going to let you in on five tips that will make you a better Arisa player. My name is Residation, and I'm a tank main who placed a staggering bronze 5 after going 7-3 and three in my placements, but quickly climbed to platinum in okay. no time using the methods I'm about to show you in this video. Make sure to stay to the end so you don't miss any of these strategies, and let me know in the comments if these tips helped you climb, and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Silent Fresh. The first and most important tip that I can give you as an Orisa player is to disrupt enemies with your spear. Disrupt meaning both keeping them from doing what they want, going where they please, and most importantly, canceling their abilities that take animation time or channels. You can cancel key abilities like Sigma Ult, his Rock Throw, Diva Jet, Roadhog Heal, Rhine Pin, Doom Fist Charge, any of Wrecking Ball's movements, and this list goes on and on with key abilities for every character you can think of. Imagine playing Overwatch and one of your abilities wasn't working for some reason. This is how it feels to play against a solid Orisa player. Roadhog gets his heal interrupted 24-7, Diva can't fly around without getting speared before she takes high ground, Sigma Rock gets cancelled taking his execute potential away. It's not all about landing damage and focusing on hitting enemies against a wall for a stun effect, which by the way only happens when enemies position in such a way that you can land that kind of a spear. Abilities can be cancelled every time regardless of enemy positioning, it just needs to be off cooldown and you just need to be able to hit the skill shot. For example, in this clip I started by displacing a reaper who was chasing down my support. Then I turned to playing ping pong with Doomfist, disabling all of his attempts to close gaps and knock back my teammates. In the next game I cancelled Amora's ultimate and it ended up being the influential play to win this fight which gave us control of the point and ended up winning us the game. It feels especially rewarding to cancel an ultimate and can be the difference between winning the fight you shouldn't and falling victim to an unbeatable ult combo. Chaining your abilities is very important as Orisa. I find myself playing her when my team is suffering from a heal diff. Orisa's javelin spin, her E, lasts 2 seconds and blocks projectile damage. Her fortify, shift, grants shield and immunity to crowd control, meaning you can't be slowed, stunned, or displaced in any way during this ability. Chaining these two abilities, one after another, gives you a solid 4 seconds or so where you will take no damage, while mitigating an insane amount of damage for your team and giving you enough time and resources to get yourself to safety okay. after they go on cooldown. You can play tank very aggressively during this time, allowing your team to output damage under less pressure and giving your healers time to focus on aiding your DPS players. To give an example, I shielded myself with shift and then used my javelin spin to completely mitigate Farah's ultimate. In this next clip, we start the match by sieging the enemy team until we can control the point. I start with javelin spin and then wait until I start taking damage to pop my shield. Once my shield is down, it's only another 3 seconds until I can javelin spin again. So I play the corner waiting for cooldowns and continue to chain my abilities to mitigate damage in the safest way possible. Speaking of tanking for your team, Arisa's javelin spin is the greatest tool she has to create space, which is kind of the only thing people expect tanks to do at the bare minimum. You gain speed while using this ability and push pack enemies that you come into contact with. So this ability is best used to push into her enemies to clear corners and to take pieces of long straights when pushing a cart. It may take 3 rounds of this method to push a payload down a straight, but one cooldown alone can advance your team around any corner in push or payload game mode. This ability is a let's gain ground and push the objective button. You can create space without taking any damage and literally move enemies exactly where you want them. Here's a clip where I create space with my javelin spin followed by my ultimate. After getting a pick, every javelin spin going forward is used to create space with complete confidence. I know it's a 5v4 so I can force enemies to give space as long as I want until their team does a full reset. This play started by taking a corner and ended up allowing us to push the payload down the entire straight to the next checkpoint. I ult for quantity on Orisa because to be honest it's the best quality ult you can get. This is not to say that Orisa can't get solo executes with her big time ultimate, but let me explain. Supports like Lucio, Zenyatta, Baptiste, and Kiriko have immortality abilities. Two of those four characters have immortalities as a base ability, it's not even their ultimate. So trying to ult for execute leaves lots of room for ulting someone who will get a full health shield, temporary immortality, or just constant health, completely negating your ultimate no matter how high you charge it. So ulting for quantity of enemies caught in the pull helps your teammates aim at one fixed position and guaranteeing that they'll deal damage to everyone caught in the charge, but it also keeps you from getting deleted by enemies that would have otherwise been outside of your ult shooting you while you're defenseless because you want your ult charge to hit that max damage. You might not get the kills but that's okay. You're displacing everyone on the enemy team, 
giving your teammates free damage to land. And if you time it right and avoid immortality, you could end up with a 5k ace yourself. In this clip, I ulted a choke point and the play resulted in four kills. Notice only oh, two of them were secured by me. But with the immortality from Baptiste, I had to delay my charge until two of them got to safety. Regardless, the displacement gave Junkrat enough time to flank a tire behind their team and pick up the other two kills. The delay from this play resulted in the enemy team not even capturing the cart for an easy ranked win. It's very important not to overheat Arisa's basic attack. You will spend more time waiting for the cooldown animation to play out than you would by just letting go of left click and allowing the meter to reduce. In addition to this, attacking while using your shift fortify causes your weapon to not overheat as quickly while active, so definitely use that. You can also time your spear throw at the cusp of your overheat to allow it to cool down during the time that you're spending throwing the spear. I only ever overheat when I need every last bullet to land a kill. Aside from that, you're just taking yourself out of commission, leaving yourself defenseless, and disabling use of your other abilities that allow you to be an effective tank for your team. For example, in this clip, I was completely prepared to overheat in order to secure the kill onto Sojourn because I needed every last bullet. You can also use your javelin spin as downtime for your basic attacks. Upon almost overheating, try to take space with your E and after the animation, go right back to attacking with a full cooldown. Arisa is all about control. What spaces will you let the enemy team occupy? What abilities will you let the enemy team use? How many projectiles will you allow to go unblocked? It's up to you. Arisa has so much positional influence and her ultimate is the apex of it. Keeping five people from positioning and instead bunching them together in one place is a prime window for any of your teammates to hit a five man execute ultimate of their own. Chaining your abilities allows you to take no damage and creates windows where you don't even need your healers. And once you've exhausted your resources, you can fall back and ask for healing. And if your team wants a dominant space taking tank, then they will heal you as soon as possible and let you do what you do best. After going seven and three in my, in my fricker. I got to slow down. I got to put this up, bro. You want your target to be Arr. in this next clip. We start the match, but, <sighs> but how exactly can you, can you fricker <sighs> creating windows to hit your hooks in under left. Mm. I know it's a four V five, so I can force it's a five V four, isn't it? It's a five V freaking four idiot. We know this dude deuce during animation and mitigation mitigating yeah wipe me down yeah hey shut up seven it's jinx on no beat and i'm rolling now i ain't got no time so i hit the town cardi and shades on my lenses now feel like you cheated he asking how run through the cheddar my girl is a setter my daddy he caught me that Volkswagen jetta so i can go stab me some eggs and live better